Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul. Or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. And what? I don't need to... I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You disgust on every street corner. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless. I can assure you, her head's broken inside is all, her arm busted on the outside, but she's still beautiful, living proof that there's hope for me. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. 
why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. You know you can't hide forever. One day you'll have to face your loved ones. Until that day, you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Fear and disgust on every street corner. Stay back, sir! Crush the leech, boys! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I wish... Good evening, Miss. I need blood. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? There is no hunt, and nobody is searching for you. You're no threat to this hospital, and you have my word you are perfectly safe here. Your lies demean you, Doctor. Do you really expect me to lower my guard? I know exactly who I am, and what I am dealing with. Tell me, Thelma, what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. No. You are deluded. You think you crave blood, but you have no physical need for it. You have no idea what that is like. But what am I feeling? It cannot only be in my head. I know my flesh is rotting. I feel it. It disgusts me. Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan... Of course... Would you... No. Who are you? Is that not... I'm curious... No, sir. And why do you believe... I don't need to... Please. I can... I'm assuming... It's only a... Who are... Who are you? Is that not... I'm... No, sir. Tell... I saw... You mean... Yes. No. But what I'm... Tell... I'm... I'll leave you. Time had lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. Good evening. Evening. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Can I ask you... It's the pain. Can I... Nurse it? Who is... Nobody. You don't see... My face. Why do you feel res- I wasn't. Tell me. I went with- Did you snow? Where- I really- No, if you were- How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? To wait for- Aren't you afraid? She's quite- So do you- And why- She could- And it's an- You do- In her ma- You told me before you don't want your children to see you like this. Do you have any other family? My sister Agatha has raised me nippers since their mother died. Don't want them to look at me like this. How could... What do you... You're... You don't... She doesn't... She just... Goodbye for now. Disgust on every street corner.